I have been putting off decluttering and reorganizing these two cabinets for years, years, years. And maybe you guys have a cabinet like that that you need to tackle. So hopefully today I can give you some inspiration and motivation because today I'm tackling what I'm calling my Monica closet. If you're familiar with Monica's closet on Friends, it's a little bit different. These are cabinets in our laundry room and our laundry room is a very multi-purpose space. And this holds all of our tools, our sensory bins, and I also want it to hold all of my bins for organizing projects. Our garage is detached and it's away from our house, so it does not make sense to keep our handy tools that we need to use in a moment's notice, like screwdrivers, hammers, our cordless drill, picture hanging materials, felt pads for furniture, that kind of thing. It all gets stored in here, but it is awful. It's all haphazard, stuff has just been added to it over the years, and it's time to finally take a couple hours and declutter. I have a few key products that I'm using that I'll share with you guys in a second, but first let's take a look at this hot mess cabinet. So these are built in to our 70s laundry room. The top is not as bad as the bottom, but as you can see, it's still pretty bad. I've just shoved things in here over the years. Light bulbs, lunch boxes, different teaching materials have just been thrown in here. But then you guys, this is the status of the rest of the cabinet. It perfectly holds our sensory bins that I do with my kids a lot, but um, it's just, it needs more organization and this is all just tools and stuff. So I need a better solution for this so that I can actually find what I'm looking for. So stuff isn't falling out on top of us, which is very dangerous. And so we can declutter as well in the process. So I'm going to empty everything out, bring it into the playroom next door and begin sorting. This video is part of a clutter-free January, which is a whole collaboration throughout the month of January. This is the last week that we're doing this. This was put on by Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and there are lots of other people on YouTube who are participating, so I'm sure many of you are new to my channel. And if you're not, make sure you go check out the other participants. But if you are new, hi, my name is Sarah. I am mom to three little girls, ages five, three, and four months old. and. We are in a very crazy season, but I love to share how I create balance that sticks in my life as a mom, as a working mom. I have recently closed my daycare. I was doing daycare for a long time, and now I am just focused on this channel and my podcast and my website where I also have some digital products to help out moms and daycare providers. So welcome if you're new. Just keeping it real. I hope you guys can get motivation. If you have little kids, it can be really hard to take on a project like this. My husband is home today. Our baby, who's right above me, keeps fighting nap. Our three-year-old is sleeping and our five-year-old is playing. It's very hard to fit in these projects, but I know it's worth it. And I hope this can be the little kick in the pants that you need to tackle one of these areas. Maybe do it after your kids go to bed, do it during nap if you can, get up early and tackle it. Or, you know, send the kids to the grandparents or let your spouse or a friend take your kids for a few hours to do something like this. Because when your house is more organized and decluttered, you are a better mom because you feel less weighed down physically, mentally, and emotionally. So this project I'm tackling is not only benefiting me, but it's benefiting my whole family. So let's get to it. I have all of this stuff. It's so easy to want to stop right now, but keep going. Don't give up. I'm just going to go through and start going through every pile, making new piles and creating, you know, different bins for everything and getting rid of stuff in the process. One of the things that stopped me from tackling this project for so long is just all of the tiny little things and figuring out where to donate because a lot of stuff you can't donate or get rid of. But I decided I'm not going to let that stop me this time. I will find places to donate stuff to. I will find ways to recycle or dispose of these things in the proper way after the fact. Don't ever let that stop you from starting these projects because once you get to the end, you will want it out of your house and you will figure out a way. So I'm not even going to worry about that now because I don't even know what stuff I'm getting rid of yet. I'm just going to carry on and I'm going to try to start piling stuff that I'm going to get rid of on this table. Another reason I think I put this off was because normally I organize with a lot of Dollar Tree products, 
but I just didn't ever think Dollar Tree products would cut it for this project unless you can find things like this at your Dollar Tree, but I am not able to. So I bought three different things online, two of which are on Amazon and one's from the container store. All of these were very affordable, I would say, for what they do. And if it helps me tackle a project that I've been putting off for years, it's worth the money. So total, these were under $100. So the very first thing is this sorting is this sorter. It can store lots of different screws and nails and all types of things contained. And I like it because I can just pull this one thing out. It can flop around and it's not going to spill. And I can easily sort all of our screws and nails and different things like that by type. And it just fits really well compared to just throwing the different boxes and bins of nails and screws into a bigger bin. Another thing I purchased was this battery organizer. I've always felt kind of afraid of the way we store batteries because sometimes they slide around and they touch in different ways and that can start a fire. So this is really cool because it stores your batteries separately so they can't touch and then you can easily see what you have in this one sleek sorter. And I like that these are about the same size so they can stack or I can put them upright. And then lastly, I got this 20 shoebox set from the container store. They are about $2 a shoebox. So I would say that's very affordable, especially for the container store. And I just thought these would be the perfect size to store all of these different types of things because I don't need very big boxes for each thing. I love that they're clear. I love that they have a lid and they can stack and I can fit a lot of them in a small amount of space and they have a spot to label them. And I think those will, these will be the perfect solution to sorting most of the things for this project. So I'm actually going to lay out a bunch of these. So as I'm sorting, like, okay, felt mats can go into one bin. Since there's stuff kind of mixed in with everything, I can kind of just start sorting stuff by type and then refine it as I go. I am through one whole laundry bin and a half and I'm almost a whole garbage bag full of stuff. One thing to really ask yourself is, would this be easy to replace? And have I even known I've had this or have needed it in the last few years? And if the answer is no, get rid of it. All these screws and things are easy to buy for pennies on the dollar and they're very easy to replace and I forgot I even had most of these things. so. Just when in doubt, get rid of it. One thing I'm noticing going through all this is how many times I've purchased duplicate items because I couldn't find what I was looking for. Like I bought a couple of these safety bracket sets even though I've come across three now that still had stuff in it because I could never actually find the one. So doing this will save me money because I won't be purchasing things that we already have. Okay, I've gone everything for about an hour and scared, spared you guys all the details of just going through everything. I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm keeping in each bin. So this one has various types of tape. These are all furniture brackets so that stuff doesn't tip over. These are all baby proofing products, like safety things for when we're doing a project. These are all like floor saving pads and things like that for the bottom of furniture and moving furniture and stuff like that. This is all drill bits of various types and, and just different things for our drills. These are all picture hanging type things. So I have a kit. I've got these different hangers, Velcro, um, the stuff you put on the back of a picture to hang it. I also put fishing wire in here because I didn't really know where else to put that. Anchors, stuff like that for hanging things on the walls. These are all different screwdriver sets. Command products. These are all wrenches and pliers and things like that. These are all like spackle things, whatever they call these spackle tools. And then I have this one that I think would still work. I got rid of some that seemed like they were probably dried out. Gloves. And then I'm going to have one bin where I keep like screws and things for furniture pieces we have that I might actually access. I had to get rid of so many things that we kept extra screws and bolts and things 
of stuff that we put together a long, long time ago, and I can't even remember what it's for, so it's just not worth keeping, but certain things um, I know we will want to keep extras of. If we take the rail off the crib and we want to maybe sell it one day, we could keep the extra parts in here, but I just want to have one bin for that, for overflow. And then we've got our batteries, and I got rid of a lot of screw, screws and nails, but I kept ones that I thought we might actually use in here. I still need to figure out a solution for all the different types of light bulbs that we store. I also have this kit my dad gave my husband. It's a knife sharpening kit, and it doesn't fit. It's This thing is a little too tall for these bins, so I'm just going to keep it in here. No big deal. And then believe it or not, this Sterilite drawer system has worked really well for our frequently used tools, so I'm not going to change that. I just got, you know, took out a bunch that we don't use often. So this one is our most often used tools. I've got a couple screwdrivers, Allen wrench set, a stud finder, a level, and then some, a hammer, and then some tape measures. And this one I just kind of put some random things that we this I don't even know what it is but I feel like we've used it I think it's oh it's some kind of socket wrench thing razor blades our mallet and then just these like little tools and tweezers and things that I feel like if we needed these we'd want to be able to get to them quickly and then on top is just kind of some random stuff I didn't know where else to put everywhere else here we have a handsaw and some blades I put it to the side so that we're not cutting our hands some clamps a razor blade thing, these square squares, whatever they call them, and then a little staple gun. And all of this stuff stays in the closet, the cabinet that is locked, so it's magnetic locked, so our kids aren't getting in here. Then I have a couple extra big things that I will have to figure out, but it's time to go clean out the cabinet and start putting stuff back in. But this is all just junk like stuff that doesn't work screws and stuff that are just random a bunch of extra boxes and bins stuff was in just a lot of randomness i just moved most of the stuff back in i could cry right now with how much better this is how much easier it is to find everything i even have three extra bins that I'm just going to keep for anything extra that comes in. I think it's really good to have extra space because you just never know. As more projects happen, we may have like a whole other type of thing to store. So I'm just, I will be moving these around. I just want to see how they would fit and I am going to label them so we can easily find everything. But I'm going to bring my sensory bins back in here and those are just extra um, stair treads that I am going to be switching out eventually on our stairs. So I'm keeping those. And then up here I am going to bring all of my extra like Dollar Tree bins and organizing bins. I purged those recently. I didn't film it at all but I knew I wanted to consolidate it. But I do like having those for when I do get the itch to organize something. I don't have to go to Dollar Tree and just stick with whatever they have in stock at that time. I like to be able to shop my own house, but this will be the perfect place to store it all. Got my sensory bins back in here, and then I just used the bins that I had been using previously for all the tools to put light bulbs because they're a little bit bigger and taller, and they fit all of our light bulbs right inside. Now the last thing to fit are my storage bins. So a lot of these will probably get used soon when I am moving around our kids' rooms and switching up my office and stuff because we're doing a huge overhaul of basically all the bedrooms in our house. We're switching who's sleeping where. But for now, I want to make sure they all fit. So I'm going to go put all these up in the top of that cabinet. All the bins that I'm keeping in storage fit really well and perfectly and I love that I can't have any more. This is the limit. And then I decided, I knew these wouldn't all fit, so I decided the ones that I'm only planning to keep for redoing the rooms, I would just keep here for now and if I don't end up using them in the rooms for anything, like I thought these could hold toys or this could hold something in my office. These are um, like under the bed. I thought these could fit under the crib for 
clothes that my baby hasn't fit into yet or something like that and then I've got some drawer sorters and then these if I don't use them in my bedroom switcheroo project then they will get donated so that is how I'm going to make sure that I don't hold on to these if I don't need them as for extra stuff this bin is all donate this is for sure recycling. I do have to pull out a few more things to recycle, but the rest is either throw away or take somewhere to dispose of properly. And then these are things that are gonna go somewhere else in the house. And the very last thing I need to do is label all of the bins. I am so in love with this after. Why did it take me so many years to do this project so let me quickly walk you guys through we've got all my extra bands for organizing projects here we've got light bulbs labeled knife sharpening kit overflow really large tools often used tools I ended up just putting these masks in here because i didn't need a whole bin for them just different tools and things that are hard to put in bins or that I want to be able to access quickly. This is a project we need to do this spring, so I'm just leaving that here. This is the knife sharpening tool, the battery pack for our drill, and then all of our screws and nails and lots of extra space for more, and all of our batteries. The three extra I put here, we've got paint and spackle, and I have a bunch of stuff out in the garage, so this spring and summer, this may get switched around, but for now, that works. We've got gloves, furniture leftovers, different drill bits, screwdrivers, pliers and wrenches, command products, picture hanging, felt pads, safety brackets, baby proofing items, and tape. And down here, I just have all of our sensory bin stuff and it fits perfectly and it looks so good. I hope I have inspired you to tackle a project like this in your house. It only took me a couple hours while my kids were napping. I did need my husband because we have a baby who likes to wake up all the time. But if I can do it, you can do it. So let's get started. If you are not quite motivated, make sure you go watch some other amazing women here on YouTube tackle different storage areas and sentimental items in their home. And I hope you guys like this. Let me know an area that you have tackled. Head over to our community tab and leave a comment there. Find the thumbnail for this video and let me know a project like this that you need to tackle in your home. I hope you guys are having a great January. Thank you guys. I hope you subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys.